All right, ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to be talking about creating a production binder. This is something that was invaluable for my movie. It absolutely would not have gotten made without it. Uh, this is mine for Gerard. I have put a lot of work into it. It's sort of a one inch binder. You can see there's quite a bit of stuff in there. Uh, you don't necessarily have to do it in this form. There are lots of other ways to do it. Um, I've also used, you know, moleskins in the past. I love these little books. They're awesome. I have a whole lot of them. Um, sort of an obsession of mine, but you know, for Gerard, I had so much stuff that I had to use a binder. It was just, you know, too much. And especially now that it's gone through production, I'm still using it. It, what basically this is, is you just put all of your ideas into it. It's, it's kind of your go-to place like, oh, you know, in scene 27, for instance, I would like to do this cool slide shot. Okay, let's put that into the binder. You're gonna have stuff in here, like your, your script broken down. If you wanna figure out how to do that, or at least how I do it, you can absolutely check out my video. I'll link to it below and in the card there, but extra sides you could have, I mean, you could have extra contracts can be super handy in a pinch. One thing that I've done now that I've made the movie, even I'm still using this thing, I use it to hold my contracts. I keep them all in one place. It's infinitely more valuable for you. And when you go into a meeting and you have something like this, this is going to look far more professional and far more uh, thought out than somebody that's coming in with just an idea for a movie or maybe a pitch or something like that. This is showing that you've actually started work on it. And nobody can really help you until you're actually doing something. So if you're if you're starting, then you can finish. If you don't start, you're never going to be able to. And nobody's gonna do this work for you, so you might as well start as early and often as possible uh, because when you approach a producer about it, he's going to be that much more likely to buy your project if you've actually done the things that will get you to where you need to be. If you haven't done uh, you know, this or you haven't broken down your script or you don't know kind of generally what's going on, then you know they're not gonna help you help yourself. And if you don't have somebody come through and buy your project and invest in you, then you know exactly what you need to do to invest in yourself. Then it's just a matter of creating the budget and getting that stuff done, which you can check out our other videos on that. Uh, we've already sort of crossed some of those off the list uh, and we'll definitely keep going forward from here, but absolutely something that's been invaluable in my career, the production binder. So it's something that you're gonna wanna get started as quickly as possible, but it was a pleasure as always. Thank you so much for liking, commenting, and subscribing, and you guys have a wonderful night.